Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Gold Hunter 77 here. Today I wanted to make a how-to video, how to build a gold gun, gold pump, hand dredge, yabby pump, whatever you want to call it. Now there's a million different ways to put these things together, there really is. Uh, the way I'm doing it is a pretty fast, good way, I think, and uh, you can use a tennis ball. So a lot of people have tennis balls laying around, you just need to go to the store and get some pipe. Okay, and this is approximately about all you need. About two feet of two inch PVC pipe. Um, you can stay with two feet of three quarter, but I like to get three feet because I like to add a section at the end to get in those crevices. You want a T here that goes on the three quarter. Don't worry about capping the sides here. It's not necessary. I also want a, another two inch cap, two inch coupler, two inch bushing, and a three quarter cap. And then the way I do it is get yourself about an inch and a quarter bolt here, nut, and a couple washers. That's what's going to hold on that uh, end of that tennis ball for our plunger, or any plunger you're going to want to bolt on somehow. Now, depending on where you shop at, you can get all this for around $15 to $20, which ain't a bad deal, because if you look online, these pumps sell from $60 to $80 to $100 or even more. Some are $200, so not a bad deal. And one of the first things I'm gonna do is drill a hole in this cap in the top here, because this pipe is gonna shoot right through it. So we'll center it up here. We'll just trace her out like such. That jigsaw coming real handy. I haven't used that in quite a while. So the next thing you want to do is take your cap and just drill that hole. Put your pipe through like such. Until you feel the end of it right here and now this bushing is going on here too well what the coupler is that's where the coupler comes into play so right about there you know it's okay if you have a little breathing room anyways we're gonna mark it here but this is not where we're gonna cut it we still need to add at least an inch to put our T on for our handle, right? And actually, I'd like a little bit more than that, so it will come up here. Okay, so now we got some of the basic stuff out of the way. Time for our plunger. So we'll take this here tennis ball or whatever you want to use for a plunger. Like I said, if you can find a two inch stopper at the Home Depot or anything that's gonna work for suction. Some guys use that cheap foam, but I don't like the idea of that falling apart. These tennis balls are rugged. So you just cut that section out right there and uh, Man, my last my last gold gun lasted me eight years, no problem, and it was still still going strong. All right, put that in there, and that feels about perfect. And our next move is we're going to drill a little hole through here, just big enough to get this bolt through. Okay, next, we'll go ahead and put our washer in our bolt, put it through this side here. And I guess you don't really have to use a washer, but I think it helps. Then we got to drill a hole right in the center of this to go on this. 
Now you might be asking, which way do you put this piece on your plunger? I don't think it really matters, but in the past, I'm pretty sure I put it on this way, just because it seems to fit better. Who knows, the other way could be good too, but this has always worked good for me. And with that concave going up and you're drawing up, it makes sense that it would pull air that way too, but I don't think it would really matter. That's just how I do it. Just taking a little break here, and I wanted to mention real quick, if you decide to build one of these, it's best to build three or four at once, especially if you're getting your pipe from like Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, as far as I know, they will not cut the pipe, so you have to buy a 10-foot section. I just buy all the extra pieces and parts to do three or four. You can give them away. You can sell them fast, real fast, for 30, 40 bucks a piece. People just buy them right up, so something to think about. Get her good and snug. Good and snug. That's good and snug. So that's what you want, something like that. All right, we got that on there. This is not glued yet. Don't glue anything until you absolutely have to because you wanna make sure everything is good to go here. So we're just gonna put this in the pipe and kinda of see how it feels and how it sounds. Sounds pretty good. So now we come back to this piece here, which is the top. We want to send that through like such. Go ahead and throw that in there. This piece here is another one that I will glue on. The only piece I don't want to glue is my end piece because this will get clogged up with rocks and whatnot on your tip end, which will be attached to your coupler and you want your coupler piece on the end to be able to come off anytime you'd like. All right, well, we are almost done, but I cannot stress this enough. With your leftover piece of three quarter, and that's why you want an extra foot, this is gonna be for your suction tip. You want this snug in here. So when you're at the hardware store, make sure you don't get the bushing to where it barely fits in there and rocks around a little bit because <laughs> it's real easy to do, I've done it. Get the one that's snug, right? All right, that's it. So this tip, you can make as long as you want. I like mine about six inches. Uh, no joke intended there, but. <laughs> All right, and then that goes on there like such. And you can tap it in with a hammer. Where's my hammer? There's my hammer. And that's not gonna come out. Now, you could glue this to this too, but you want this, you wanna be able to take this whole coupler off with this piece as one piece. So if you get any deep clogs in there, you can just tap this back with uh, whatever you happen to have in the field at the time in case you get any clogs in here because you definitely can. Most of your clogs will be in this tip and I like to use a long flathead screwdriver to get those rocks out. But sometimes it will come down in here and you'll have to do something with this. Now how convenient is this? I just happen to have a panning tub with a little bit of dirt in there and another bucket to put it into. So. Let's go ahead and give her a test, baby. It's working. She is working. All right, just had lunch. This deal is taking a little longer than I thought, but I had to run to town a couple times. Anyways, as far as gluing it together, you want to probably stick with your PVC ad adhesive. It is a little bit spendier. However, I'm trying to save a few bucks, so I'm just going with contact cement. 
I've used super glue in the past and it worked great. So, you know, use whatever you think is going to hold good. Also, if there's anything that you didn't quite understand, just let me know in the comments. Or you can even email me anytime about anything gold related. That's OKCYA77 at gmail.com. I'll be happy to reply and give you the best answer I can. All right, there's the final product. We got us a gold gun now, baby. Woo! These are awesome. Awesome. This one's actually a little bit bigger. Not, not as long, but it's wider than my last one. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. But these pumps right here have doubled my gold easily. And these pumps right here have gotten me almost all of my big pickers. I'd say at least 60, 70% of my pickers have come from these pumps. You get down in them cracks where nobody else is going and you just suck them up. So we'll let that uh, contact cement bind, you know, overnight. And then I'll test it again tomorrow to check it out. And she ought to be good to go. But she's, she's sucking up the dirt and she's sucking up the gold, baby. All right, until next time, guys.